Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for mid-September, full Celtic cross, September 2019, mid-September 2019, for the energies coming in for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising, the energies coming in for Aquarius. You know this will not resonate with all Aquarius individuals, so please keep that in mind. And I always look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, we usually work through it, you know. I'm not going to just leave you hanging dry and telling you to deal with it, you know. We don't do that. King of Rods, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. As you know, I do not associate one sign for the mass readings to a, a court card. So this could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Rods is in the upright. And maybe you're dealing with that as a beginning energy or thinking upon a person or that energy yourself. You could be also taken on this energy even though you are an air sign. You may be more passionate in what you're wanting in life. Subject at hand, happiness, the sun. Regaining happiness, uh, brighter days, uh, things uh, are more clear to you. Was crossing it? The moon. <laughs> the moon. Uh, his, uh, deceptions. Hidden things. Maybe you're trying to reveal things. Uh, bring things out into the light more. Maybe you're trying to express yourself more, but having trouble doing so with the moon crossing it. Like I said, when I get this, I always think someone's hiding something from me or deceptions. Maybe you're trying to bring it to light. Could have to do with the Hierophant Reverse. Something that you thought was solid and steady at one time. Because it's what crowns you or your goal. So maybe you're dealing with, it could be a, a, an ex-partner. Someone you had an establishment with or established with in, a, in, a, in partnerships. Could be family. It could be any of those things. Things that was considered solid at one time in society and accepted um, at a high level. Also it could be work. It could be anything like that. We'll find out. Uh, the foundation, you're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, like I said, the way I do court cards. Uh, in reverse, this one, this person is not feeling real stable right now or secure with you or you with them. Or, you know, like this energy of non-stability. In the past, Three of Cups in reverse. Someone may have been overindulging a little bit with the Three of Cups in reverse. It also could be... Um, that you're having trouble celebrating and going out with people and enjoying yourself. Near future, you feel like something is hopeless. And remember, when I clar I'm going to clarify these cards. It can change up the story. It'll tell us what's going on. So I'm thinking, that I'm, I'm seeing like two different people here that you're dealing with. One with the Queen of Pentacles and maybe a Rod's energy. And it could be like... Um, Maybe one of them was a past relationship and now one is a current one, but we'll find out. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Communications are a mess with the Eight of Wands in reverse. And maybe it's the universe telling you you need to clarify your communications and make them um, uh where they're more understandable to others around you. It could be that also you might have missed a message somewhere. We'll find out. I gotta clarify, like I said, what is coming towards you is someone from the past. I thought there was more than you know, I thought it was something of an ex partner of some sort. But it's someone from the past with the six of cups. And maybe you're hot you could be that um, you're having fond memories, but usually when it's in this position it's something beyond your control. So it has to do with a past person that you had fond memories, could go as far back as childhood, but not necessarily when I get these cards. And, um, or the, with this card, I, it could be like I said, someone you had fond memories of. It's like nostalgia. It could be that someone does come back in some way, but not necessarily. I gotta, I gotta clarify. You gotta stick with me. Hopes and fears is a decision. You gotta make a decision. What do you want, Aquarius? The uh, two of wands is about someone who has two different things in their lives. Make sure I get this in the picture. And one is like a safety net. Another, another one is where you're wanting to go, you know, long term. But you're having trouble releasing the safety net. And you're trying to go with, you know, the future. But the the um, what is attached to this card is someone needs to make a decision eventually. Or otherwise, it's just going to stay there, kind of stuck in a way. Possible outcome, you may need to take a break and think about things or where you want to go with what person or situation with the person in the past. You may have taken a break from this person, but you may be 
some of you need to go on vacation with the Four of Swords. But like I said, I got to clarify. Now, going back to the beginning, we have the sun with the moon crossing it. The sun, why are you there with the moon crossing for Aquarius? What's going on? The star card, you're thinking something is hopeless. You're thinking something is hopeless with the star card in reverse. The sun in the upright, the moon crossing it. The star card in reverse, why are you there? For Aquarius. Queen of Swords, that's you. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Someone who's very intelligent. Um, gives good advice. There's so, there, I, when I see the Queen of Swords, I know if I go to the Queen of Swords and ask a question, or, or like I said, get advice, I get a true answer, and an answer that can help me, usually. It's usually pretty direct, though. It's not something that is for everyone. Some people can't handle a straight-to-the-point um, response. But I see this person regaining happiness, even though something is, they maybe they were dealing with that was kind of hidden from them before was considered hopeless they may have considered it hopeless the moon could also be like a feminine type energy but not necessarily um i see it to where the, someone is unhappy with a situation in the past but they decided to be happy again now what crowns you or your goal is the Hierophant in reverse. And that could be, like I said, relationships. I feel that it is in this case. So the Hierophant in reverse, why are you there? For Aquarius, that's what crowns them or the goal. The devil in reverse, you're trying to come unchained from a past maybe relationship and you're having trouble doing so. The Hierophant in reverse and the devil in reverse, why are you there? For Aquarius, what crowns them or the goal? So you're going for happiness, but you're still kind of slightly hung on to a chain situation. And you're trying to keep your options open at the same time with the Seven of Cups, which can be a little bit confusing of what you're wanting in life. So I see that for some Aquarius individuals, you don't want to be tied down, but at the same time, you want somebody in your life in some way. You want happiness, but at the same time, you don't want to be tied down with things that are confusing, that don't give you very good options, even though there are a lot of options out there. It's just like you're not liking any of them for some reason, or they're not exactly what you're wanting 100%. Now, the foundation is the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. When the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, they're not feeling real stable and secure. Maybe they're not feeling real stable and secure with you. Or like I said, you could be taking on this energy and not feel 100% like yourself. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, why are you there for Aquarius? King of Pentacles, yes, yeah, someone's definitely not feeling like, you know, they got everything they want in life when it comes to stability. So the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, both in reverse, why are you there? For Aquarius as the foundation yeah and you want your wheel of fortune to change and it could be that your your luck will change with the wheel of fortune you know because it's a it's basically a second question card why is it there I do believe for some of you that um, your luck will change when it comes to stability with the wheel of fortune in the upright it also could be that um you're just feeling like you're you know you're wanting your fortune to come in but mm, i'm thinking a lot of you your luck is going to change in a bit now in the past you got the three of cups in reverse i told you what that was about overindulgence possibly with the cups energy or not feeling like you're celebrating as much or hanging out with people or maybe things got a, a little bit out of hand when you were hanging out with more than just one person but it's all kind of things so the three of cups in reverse why are you there in the past for aquarius Knight of Pentacles, some, something came to a dead halt with the Knight of Pentacles. It didn't go as planned, whatever you were doing with the Cups energy. So the Three of Cups, the Knight, Knight of Pentacles, both in reverse in the past. Why are you there? Why are you there? And you feel like you didn't get a victory with that, whatever happened. Like I said, it could have been celebration, someone you were hanging out with. Like, you know, some came to a dead halt with someone maybe you did hang out with, you know. And you didn't get a victory with them. And you wanted a victory possibly, but maybe not. i got to find out. 
So in the near future, we got the star card. It is in reverse. And with the star card in reverse, you're feeling like the situation is hopeless. You're trying to regain hope, but you're feeling like, uh, what's going on? So the star card in reverse, why are you there? For Aquarius. And you're wanting to release a burden with this. You're just... It's like you're over and done. You're saying, I'm done with this. I have no hope in this situation, but not so fast because I see something in the outside there and I got to clarify it first. So the star card, the ten of wands in reverse while you're there for Aquarius in the very near future. This is, by the way, for mid-September. So it's coming up. And you want to come out of hermit mode. You're tired of just thinking about things. It weighing you down on your heart. You know, you're thinking about the hopelessness. And now you're just wanting to release it. You know, whatever didn't um, pan out for you in the past. And you're going to be wanting to move forward. Now, advice from the universe or possible future outcome. We do have the Eight of Wands in reverse. And that has so many meanings also. And I told you what some of them were. But let's find out more. So the Eight of Wands in reverse, while you're there, is a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. King of Swords, this is you, just tells me this is you. King of Swords is Aquarius in the upright. But communications is off <clears throat> in some way. I need more information. Eight of Wands in reverse, King of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? What's going on? The world card. <clears throat> Communications isn't exactly over just yet with the world card in reverse. A lot of you in the past had released a past karmic situations, but the Aquarius I am dealing with now have not. Communications are off, and therefore a karmic situation has not um, finished in some way for some of you. And maybe it's t uh, the universe is telling you to tie up loose ends in some way. It could be that. It could be that. Um, the universe telling you don't worry about miscommunications and communications that were brought from a karmic situation. It can go either or way. But I'm thinking for some of you, you may have missed um, a, a communication with somebody. Like um, something is not finished. That's all I can tell you. It's something is just not finished yet. So what is coming towards you is the Six of Cups and it's something from the past. Nostalgia, someone coming back, you know, memories, like I said, nostalgia, but Six of Cups in the, um, in, in the uh, it's a past person, but it's outside environment, what you can't control, okay? It's another type of past card, but it's the outside environment. So the Six of Cups in the upright, while you're there, for Aquarius, that's beyond their control, the outside environment coming towards them. It's also what's called coming towards you. Someone that you had an ending with may try to resurrect a situation. You may try with them, but it's an outside environment. So they may um, come back in your memory. Or they may actually come back, try to resurrect a situation when it ended before. So the Six of Cups in the Upright, the Death card in reverse while you're there. For Aquarius. The High Priestess. But you're not going to see it coming. Or they're doing, they're actually maybe thinking about you without telling you. They may be seeing you online. They may be thinking about you intensely. And they're not, not letting you know it for some reason just yet with the high priestess in the upright. It's called, it, in some decks, and there's all different kind of definitions. And people will always be trying to shove a certain definition in your face. But, you know, trying to get you to convince to go with a certain interpretation. But it's really up to you. But in some interpretations, and I, I find that interesting, is the high priestess is saying, um, someone from the past, a situation that you were dealing with that you pretty much thought was over and may be over, but it may not be also, something is not fully gelled yet. It is not um, considered over possibly with the high priestess and the upright. Not fully gelled. You know, not set yet, not etched in stone. So the Six of Cups in the upright, the Death card in reverse, the High Priestess in the upright, why are you there? For Aquarius, it's the outside environment beyond their control. I'm thinking it's not, I'm going to put this out here. Yeah, someone wants to communicate. They want happiness possibly with you again. You get the Eight of Wands and the Sun. But they're not telling you right yet. They, they haven't decided 100% if this is what they're going to do yet. It is not fully gelled, but they're definitely thinking on it. Hmm, interesting. Now, 
your hopes and fears is to make a decision or maybe you're wanting someone else to make a decision because I'm seeing that also. So the two of wands in the upright while you're there for Aquarius is the hopes and fears and also manifestations because you know you can control those. Why are you there? Wow. With the Three of Cups energy, maybe you're wanting to get together again with somebody or decide on something that has to do with celebrations, hanging out with people. Maybe you don't know what to do yet. Yeah, you don't know what to do yet. Two of Wands in the upright, Three of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Aquarius? And you're wanting a, maybe a possible new loving message with the Page of Cups. Maybe you're wanting a, a message of the emotional nature, like I said. For some of you, it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but not necessarily. Again, it's a page. To me, pages are messengers or someone young at heart. That's a little emotional. So maybe you're, like I said, having trouble making this decision, and you need to make one. But in the end, you're like, no, I'm going to wait to make this decision with the Four of Swords in the upright. I need just to take a break and think about things for a while. So... Someone's thinking about you in the outside environment, and you're thinking about not making a decision at all on something and riding it out a little bit. Let's find out for sure. And then we'll get back to, to the advice from the universe. So, Four of Swords in the Upright, why are you there as the final outcome for Aquarius? And that's not the possible future outcome. we got to put those together. It has to do with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly, but not necessarily. Someone with a short temper. Maybe that's why you're taking a break. You don't know what to say with the Queen of Wands. Maybe you're afraid of the Queen of Wands. Maybe the Queen of Wands is afraid of you. Because even though when the Queen of Wands, and hell, I have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse, um, with a short temper and when she's angry, but she also cannot be feeling well. Or maybe she herself or he himself doesn't have to be, you know, I don't put it whether it's male or female either when reading for the masses. But this person could be ill that you're dealing with. And maybe that's why they're not coming towards you either. Something's not gelled. Something's not set with them to where they can possibly also. Or, you know, like there's some, some reason um, they may be taking a break or you may be taking a break from the Queen of Wands. But the Queen of Wands, like I said, also may be taking a break because something is up with them. They may be ill. They don't have to be mean when they're in reverse. Okay? Sometimes they are, but... Um, Four of Swords in the upright, Queen of Wands in reverse uh, with the King of Cups. It's probably, also, some of you could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So I'm seeing fire and water here so far. And I also see, like I said, a Pentacles energy and some air. So Four of Swords in the, in the upright, Queen of Wands, and the King of Cups in reverse. While you're there, there's a final outcome. And then we're going to sum this up and do a final card yeah someone wants to unblock a situation but they're taking a break at the same time they are now seeing things for how they are you're seeing things for how they are with them with the two of swords in reverse you're no longer putting your blinders up with this but you're also seeing someone taking a break or you're taking a break from them is the outside environment like i said some something out of your control that may be coming towards you is that uh someone from the past someone that you definitely had an ending with but communications want to be opened up with this person or they want to open up with you but they have not 100 percent did it they're still in the um sidelines you know in the background now advice from the universe for you is that communications is off somehow and this karmic situation in this case for aquarius is not over yet um so something is left undone and the only time you can really come to full circle and finish a karmic cycle is to tie up the loose ends a lot of times. A lot of people don't like hearing that. I don't like hearing that sometimes. But it's the truth. It's just telling you something is undone, not finished yet. It doesn't mean you'll get back together with somebody. It's just things were left unsaid. My little ball here, I use this for photography too. Is shaking all over the place. In the end, you got the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of feeling stabbed in the back. You're coming out of feeling like um, someone betrayed you, or they may come out of this. Maybe things are starting to soften up a little with feelings and emotional hurts with somebody. Maybe someone is willing to communicate, but for some reason, it's not coming out in mid September. It's like they're in the background waiting. So, Aquarius, somebody's thinking about you, but they haven't uh, came to a full conclusion. It could be them with the two of wands of whether to approach you or not. 
And this is your reading, and I'm going to let this go, and I will upload it soon because I'm running behind because YouTube uh, uploads are running behind. So I'm going to put this out there soon. Ah, I forgot to change the lights. They're going back and forth. Sorry about that. And I will let this go, and I'll upload it soon. Talk to you later. Bye.